All right, guys, here we are in my truck, so I hope audio is decent, uh, but I have posed this in numerous videos, and I finally am getting around to doing it, but I'm going to show you how I have my Acaso EK7000 set up as a dash cam. So, if you are interested, stay tuned through the intro. What's up? My name is Doug, the Bearded Outdoors, and welcome to another video. If you enjoy beer product reviews, gear reviews, EDC videos, action camera videos, then you have definitely come to the right channel. So today, I'm going to show you how I have set up my Acaso EK7000 for a dash camera. All right, so it's a very simple setup, and I did not have to purchase anything. Everything came straight out of the box, with the exception of a cord, which you probably have one laying around. Uh, so everything that I have for the setup came in the box. Uh, so we're going to show you, I'm going to show you how I have it all done. But again, this is the EK7000. Now you can do this with any of the Acaso cameras. They all come with all of this hardware. So you can use it with any of them. I wanted to use the EK7000 because I have two of those and, uh, or two of these actual cameras. And so it just made sense to use one of them for this and not have to use one of my other cameras all right so the ek7000 you're gonna get that you will need a micro sd card if you don't already have the camera and a card you will need a micro sd card they do not come with those um so now let me i'll show you what i have set up and then i will show you the setup hey 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 are you enjoying this video if you are, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Make sure to hit subscribe if you haven't already. And, uh, yeah, make sure you do that. So, let me unscrew this. So, this is the bracket that comes with the EK7000. Now, it comes with a waterproof housing, but it also comes with this if you are not worried about waterproof. Um, and it just clicks in like so, so you have the camera in the housing all right so what i did was this is normally designed to run and screw this this is normally the top i mean this is set up just like that now you can go into this camera into the settings and you can flip this so the camera's upside down but it records normal all right i didn't want to go through all that because the cool thing about this little housing is it has a threaded attachment on the bottom and the top so your hardware with your Acaso is going to come with one of these cool little um, tripod mounts. So it's a male end threaded with the little bracket. So all I did was I put that in the top of my bracket here. And then just make sure that's straight. Or your camera won't be straight. So... I took it down so it takes some adjustment all right so put that on there and now that is snug it is on there tight and then we have our screw and the attachment that I have I'm gonna have to take the camera down so bear with me all right so I'm gonna try to let this focus but what this is this is basically like a helmet mount it's a sticky uh, mount the mount is stuck to the windshield and this little guy here just slides in like it does in the box when you order it uh it's just slid in so it's clipped in there it's locked in it's not going anywhere so then all i need to do is take the camera slide it in there they stay and then take my bolt run that in and thread that on or in get that tight so now my camera is on it's not going anywhere um, and the cool part about this is the camera is upright so I don't have to worry about flipping it over every time I turn the camera on I can reach up here and turn the camera on it might be dead I haven't used it in a minute so it's on and all I've got to do is hit this record button and it starts recording um, this will record um, about two hours of runtime um, I'll check that in just a second let me get the camera set back up the other way and we'll talk more about that 
All right, so now that you've seen how it is set up, the other thing that I will throw out there is I have a cord, um, a charging cord. It's the micro SD, and I have the little, and I don't have one right here, but it's just little black sticky cord management little things and they blend in with my interior of my truck so i just got them stuck i got two of them stuck just to keep the cord in place and all i've got to do if the battery starts running low is just pull the cord and plug it into my camera and then plug the other end into the cigarette lighter charger and my camera is plugged into power um i think if i'm not mistaken i can get about two hours of video and when you run it for an extended period of time, it, it chops those into about 30 minute videos, roughly. I take that back, three hours of record time. So, um, and it'll chop those into about 30 to 35 minute videos, which makes it easy to go in. And if you need the footage, you don't have a three hour video. You can go in and delete the segments that you don't need. And then you would only have like a 30 minute video that you would need to download or if you need all of it it's going to be a lot easier to download 30 minute videos than it is going to be to download a three hour video usually what i do uh you've seen how my if you haven't i'll put a card up top but i have videos on how to connect your phone to your camera when i'm done driving a trip that i'm using my camera all i do is i reach up and i hit the button to turn on the wi-fi pull out my phone connect to it go in and delete any of the footage all the footage and start fresh on the next trip uh, it's easy I don't have to pull the camera I don't even have to pull the camera off the dash to make that change and clean that uh, clean that card off so it makes it really simple this setup and using the Acaso and again that system would work with any or this setup would work with any of the Acaso cameras I'm not sure of the other brands how they would work but I know with the Acasos they are super si simple to connect to your phone, which makes it a whole lot nicer to not have to take this bad boy off the dash. It stays up there. I never pull this down. I've got a charger here. I can plug to it, let it charge. Uh, usually when I'm driving, if I see the battery's getting low, I'll go ahead and plug into it, let it charge while I'm driving, and, and it's recording. It's all good. I keep an extra battery in my truck because I don't want it plugged in all the time. So if I see that the battery is like just taking a toll, I can take that battery out, put a new battery in. When you order one of these cameras, you get three batteries. Uh, I don't want to have all three of them in here because I do have other cameras that use those batteries. But yeah, they are the Acaso EK7000. It's pretty much the baseline of the Acaso brand. You can pick this camera up for around 60 bucks, 50 bucks, 60 bucks, which is a whole heck of a lot cheaper than buying an actual dash camera. Uh, but this works really, really well. I have no problems with it, and I actually love it. So I'm going on the trip pretty soon, and we'll be using this camera along the way. And it makes it super nice to be able to pull that from the camera to your phone without having to pull this SD card out. I can clean it, all that fun stuff. So if you have any questions, you want any follow-up on this, uh, a follow-up video of some sort, drop it in the comments. If you have any questions about this setup, Drop it in the comments, and um, I will see you in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video. So, go get you an Acaso EK7000. I will have this camera, as well as those little cord um, management little tabs. I'll have those linked in the description below, so you can go check them out. And, uh, yeah, so until next time, stay bearded. Get outdoors. When, not inside. We're, we're not in the truck. We're out. But get outdoors, and God bless. One thing I failed to mention, that three hours of record time, that is based on the size SD card you have. I'm running a 32 gigabyte micro SD. So if you needed, like if you ran, if you were driving something that you were driving further than that and you needed longer than three hours and you didn't want to stop and delete along the way, then you might need to get a bigger SD card. Uh, but I'm running a 32 gigabyte micro SD, which again gives me about three hours and that's on the settings that I have for resolution which is I'm not going to pull it down again probably 1080 at 30 frames per second that's the frame that's the what I like running in so it's probably at 1080p 30 frames per second and that's three hours of record time of video time so there's that just check it out play with it it doesn't have to be great resolution for a dash camera 
you're just wanting to see if something happens, who's at fault, and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, so you could, I could probably downgrade my resolution and get a little longer than three hours, um, but that's really going to be up to you and personal preference. So if you need longer than three hours and you don't want to downgrade your resolution, consider getting a higher res or a higher gigabyte SD card. Um, it's not going to come with one if you're in the market now to purchase. I'll put a link to the ones I use in the description with the camera and stuff. So if you're in the market to buy the camera, um, definitely check out some micro SD cards because it will not come with one and you won't be able to take pictures or videos or anything like that without one. So there's that. I completely forgot to mention that. So there's that.